Howdy, 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 my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Pisces, for May 2022. All right, darling? So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Pisces, to get the full spectrum of what's going down in your life in specific, as well as my weekly pick a card tarot reading. I upload every single Sunday, Pisces, all right? So let's just see what's good, what's popping with you this week, Pisces, okay? So in regards to the doors, the opportunities opening up for you, Pisces, honey, y'all got my favorite card, Pisces. This is what's up, honey. OK, y'all get the full energy. Doors, opportunities coming in for you guys. Y'all are going to have the opportunity to completely change your life here. Uh, Pisces, a completely clean slate. You're going to be having the opportunity to, you know, some of you guys just pack up and move, Pisces, and just like pick up from where you were and just completely transition, you know, and I get like this odd message here, Pisces, just where it's just like scenario, some of you guys are going to be packing your bags going on a road trip some of you guys are going to be uh, dropping this dead weight of a connection friendship relationship in your life and we'll get into that in a moment um in your life and just transitioning to another one it's like you're going from one place and transitioning to another some of you guys are thinking about uh putting in your two weeks to follow in your heart's passion with something all right so y'all making some big moves here pisces lots of things opening up for you okay so let's take a look in regards to your social life and relationships platonic romantic work related family honey we have here the wheel of fortune coming in here pisces okay i like this a lot things are changing up here all right i feel as if someone's going to be showcasing a complete swing of change of emotions here this kind of gives me bipolar energy i feel like this lets me know pisces someone's in the process of seeing seeing it from your side of things that's what i feel it's like they're seeing the how your approach to things or how you feel about things and trying to um gain further clarity we'll get more into this this is there's a lot to unpack with your social relationship i can tell with that so when i pull some clarity cards with that one pisces it'll definitely be interesting all right so in regards to your heads up for this week here pisces okay you have the world energy coming in here so you start out this is so interesting pisces so the world is the final card in the major arcana it represents closures the cycles pisces to begin new ones and then you have the full energy here which is the beginning of that new cycle it's the beginning of a new fool's journey Journey. that's why it's associated with the number zero so this is really interesting pisces all right this is really interesting to me this is letting me know like again y'all's lies pisces are about to be drastically transforming here there's something like your life is really about to change greatly in some facet here all right i just get like this just is like a new dawn a new day is what i get with this so man oh man pisces i'm really excited about this reading here let's start delving into this energy with this fool all right for the doors and the opportunities currently opening up for you honey let's take a look here let's see if we can get any more detail about this we're gonna do two shuffles here pisces uh -uh. y'all have been real emotional this week haven't you been pisces has a is like what's going on why y'all been so emotional let it out in the comments below we have the five of swords coming in here oh honey this is why it's been emotional here you finally had to let go of a situation that no longer was serving you you knew this the situation wasn't good for you i feel like you yo-yoed back and forth with this situation for some time now pisces and it's like this time it was for good this time it was for good here all right and mm, it's like you're coming out of just a rough situation but it makes me happy because it's like through this pain yeah devil energy honey y'all had a battle with the devil but y'all still ended up winning all right y'all had a battle with the devil and y'all still ended up winning some of you pisces <laughs> you might be saying like velka i might have ended up winning but i don't feel like it right you may be feeling battered and bruised some of you guys is pride or ego <sighs> excuse me prior to ego pisces was a little bit uh, uh ruined here due to how many times you took this energy back in and allowed it right five of wands yeah this is like this is where all the heavy con like the drama is pisces right you this is a new dawn a new day for you guys y'all finally cut out the uh toxic situation in your life all right very toxic especially for his family if this is romantic i feel as if like let's not even put a label to it i feel like you guys are just like giving yourselves this freedom of finally breaking patterns in your life here right these cycles that you've consistently been going on like you had a pattern of allowing a certain type of individual to treat you in a certain type of way speak to you in a certain type of way you've allowed uh things to sabotage you and for you and your future what it is that you're trying to create for yourself here there's some type of toxic pattern 
burden that you find you're breaking yourself free from and this is this time it's different for you pisces right this it easily could give me like the scenario where it's just like you always would make like your new new year's resolution pisces where it's like you're gonna finally like this is going to be the year where you're going to find your healthiest body. You know, this time it's different. This time I feel like you actually are going to be following through with it here. Um, I feel like for some of you Pisces as well, you guys are taking this leap of faith and finally just delving and taking the plunge in regards to um, just what it is that you want to do. Like, again, especially for jobs, I get y'all are thinking about taking the plunge. And just relationships in specific, which we're going to be getting into now. This is what I'm most anticipating here, Pisces, is this. Um, I feel like that's where the, a lot of the change is representing, right? Some of you guys are moving due to the fact of your social relationship uh, progressing in some way here. So let's take a look here, Pisces. We have the seven of cups coming in here. Okay. So it's like through the it's through your social connection here. All right, you had a few different options in how you want to handle it, right? Strength energy coming in here. Yeah, darling, this is your shadow work, Pisces. Ooh, this is your shadow work and three of wands coming in here. Back of the deck energy is the tower energy, Pisces. Okay, darling, okay. So how I see the situation going down in regards to your social life currently here, you have a few different options in how to approach uh, this individual, this energy here. All right. I feel like you guys have already been seeing like the signs of what to be doing with the situation. I wanted to say red flags some of you guys, but let's not limit it just to something negative, right? Um, Y'all have seen signs of what it is that you need to do. And I feel like some of you guys are intimidated by the idea of doing that drastic decision that could greatly change the dynamic of your relationship with this person or just drastically change your life in just a lot of ways right um if you live with them a roommate um co-worker but you know there's like it's like the sense of where it's like there's a big magnitude with how you choose to handle this energy um pisces it's like if you choose to cut off this family member that means you're choosing to cut off everyone else if you choose to cut off this one friend you have to leave all your other friends right there's just something that there's like adds a lot of weight to the decisions that you make next when it comes to your social situation here okay um so we have this temperance energy coming in here as well as the six of pentacles i feel like and for some of those that are confused on what to be doing next pisces what i would be suggesting to you is like a, a little you're if you are, if you're looking for extra confirmation you already know what you need to do you already saw the signs if you're willing to be honest and admit it but um if you've been looking for any more affirming signs it's definitely going to be coming this week pisces okay for the, what decision it's going to solidify the decision that you already made in your head about this connection all right whatever that looks like for you pisces okay darling so now let's just take a look at the heads up for the week uh for you pisces all right with that world energy closures of cycles to begin new ones right this like again pisces like y'all are really going through some big transitions here pisces it's like the you i feel as if for a lot of you guys you're gonna really struggle catching your breath even because there's gonna be like so many changes happening uh in the coming days for you pisces which is just interesting i'm excited for it but i can imagine i can only imagine like how stressed or anxious you must be because you're the one currently experiencing it pisces right so many moving parts but i feel like it's still for the better honey all right um so let's take a look here final bird shuffle pisces let's take a look here honey all right so we have this queen of swords coming in here yeah a lot of you guys pisces are being pushed to this point of having to put your foot down all right coming off as the bad guy pisces that's what's happening for some of you guys some of you guys are about to be going on this journey by yourself no longer having this codependency towards a connection that you didn't even want a codependency towards in the first place here yeah king of pentacles energy coming in here and then we have here the ten of wands <clears throat> and then the back of the deck is the ten of cups coming in here so what i get for you pisces this is giving me very much so where it's just like um well i guess some type of connection provided to you in some way all right logistically they provided for you money wise family like there's something that pro this connection provided for you all right and i feel like you're at a point now where it's just like you don't like something in the dynamic of the connection right with that ten of wands it's that heaviness all right take note of the tens we're gonna get into that in a moment um 
there's some type of heaviness associated with them. Maybe this is like a connection where it's just like you love them, bless their heart, but they're just too much for you to deal with. You know, whatever the you, whatever the storyline is, right? It doesn't matter. You are at this point now where it's just like you have to be the queen of swords where it's like for your own good because you can't be dealing with these burdens anymore. And you're just like, you know what? I'd rather just be by myself, right? I may struggle to ha have to pay the bills, honey, for a while, but I'm gonna make it work, right? So tens representing closures to cycles. You have two different tens here. So this really shows to me, Pisces, where it's just like y'all about to be, y'all about to be making a bold move. And this is a lot of y'all's reasons for how your life really changes. Your life trajectory really just changes is by making this big move that you know is gonna be good for you, but and Initially, people are going to just see you as the bad guy, right? Because they don't realize the burdens that they have on you, right? They're just so used to you being the one in control, Pisces. They always are so used to taking you, Pisces, for granted and dismissing your emotions and being like, oh, Pisces just like, Pisces being too much. Pisces just needs to get over themselves, right? Um, in this situation, you're just like, nah, man, I got to do what's good for me. All right. And you, you, you know, you will do what you need to do, even if you have to struggle for a little bit. So you can be at this place where you are feeling good emotionally because of this energy here. Sure, it may pay, it may pay the, some of the bills. It may it sometimes is nice to save some money on rent living with that family member, honey, but it ain't worth it. It's so taxing for you. So um yeah pisces i told you darling a lot to unpack but um i like this a lot for you um you have me in my you have i you y'all's energy is in my prayers honey because i know this must be really trying time for you guys but this is the best thing y'all could be uh going through right now in terms of like where your life is going to be after this all right it's going to be rough the transition is going to be rough but it's going to be so beautiful after the fact so um yeah pisces that's the tarot reading that i have for you this week hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you honey all right if you did be sure to check out your swimming rising and venus sign uh pisces as well as my weekly pick a card tarot reading i upload every single sunday darling okay um but pisces remember if you want to book a private reading with me simply valka Dot com in the description box below next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both being simply velka same as here honey but uh yeah i love you so much pisces and i'll connect with you sometime in the near future hopefully bye darling